reports Kyle Lowry dodging calls and texts from Raptors officials like GM Masai Ujiri, new coach Nick Nurse. How concerned are you, Brian, if this is in fact true? I spent 45 minutes in that gym at UNLV in July waiting to talk to Kyle Lowry, and you should have seen the artful ways he was trying to get out of talking to the media. And I thought he did the Raptors a favor because he was hot. He was still hot over Yeah, it was right? actually a, a little bit of a loyalty to the organization he thing because he, he was did. ready to say not so nice and things about look, them. And Kyle Lowry, as you call him a bulldog, or you call Chris Paul bull, bulldog, Kyle, Kyle Lowry's cut from the same cloth. Mm -hmm. He will give everything for that organization, but it is clear he is a, not a happy camper with the, that DeMar DeRozan trade. I mean, look, there's an old joke we were talking about in the break when they say, when are you showing up for informals or whatever? And the guy says, when's media day? <laughs> and that's that's the, the code for don't talk to me. I, I Look, I don't, I, I've thought about this earlier when, when producer Steve called me, I was like, mm -hmm. man, grow up. That, and I thought about it. Yeah, he has a right to feel upset because, again, it's not that he got traded. His best friend got traded. It's the way it happened, right? The idea, I'm Although just saying. everybody has a different feeling about the way it happened. But the, but, the truth but, is always somewhere in the middle, right? But who was it? Was it you that said if you when you go into the Raptors locker room, they got family photos yep. hanging up, right? That's a, that's a large step beyond the regular, hey, we're a family talk to teams do. So I could see them getting hurt by something yeah, like that because, Absolutely. you know, it, they were sold a bill of goods. Look, and the Raptors got to do what they got to do. They got swept out of the playoffs two years in a row. They're saying, listen, we can't keep these guys together. But it doesn't mean that Kyle's going to be happy about it. Well, this is such an irony, Stephen, right? Because on the one hand, I think every player understands how he feels, how DeMar feels, right? On the other hand, this trade happened, Kawhi Leonard is <laughs> you got better. an MVP candidate, a two-time defensive player of the year. It's sort of a strange position for Kyle to find himself because emotionally he feels one way. Basketball-wise, this could be the greatest season of his career. Yeah, and, and, and I know he's, I know his feeling. Like when we won uh, beat Dallas, the number one seed in the playoffs, they traded BD the next year, uh, mid-season. And we was like, we trying to, we, we about to do something big again this year. Mm -hmm. How could you do that? And we don't get nothing for him. Well, like you said, this is a different situation. You're getting Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, you're going to be hurt because that's your friend, that's your brother. Y'all are more like family. But at the same time, you have a job to do. Let that go and move on and try to have a great year.